red lip. And here to show you how is Shobana Lakavali. Hello, Shobana. Yeah. We all want red lips to look like yours. <laughs> you found your perfect red for sure. Yes. So we're going to look to the stars for a second. We've got yeah. a picture here of J-Lo. And um, she's got, she's tried reds in two different ways. Two very different reds. They both look phenomenal on her. No surprise. Absolutely. It's J-Lo. Right. It's J-Lo. But um, everybody can wear a red. And we can everybody can rock a red. Okay. It's just about finding the right red because right is, red is such a powerful, empowering shade. Yeah. Um, and once you throw it on, you know, your right shade, in just a few seconds, you can feel super polished and sexy and confident. If you look at any icons or celebrities, there's always a red associated yeah. with them right uh, and so today I want to show you how to break it down to make it easy so we'll okay. start by undertone and then we'll go into texture all right you got it so undertone undertone it's like a makeup basic can get complicated yeah. basically you need to figure out are you a cool undertone or are you a warm undertone right we see our face this is our overtone underneath is where the cool and the warm come in mm. so if you look at your veins mm -hmm. right if you're more blue mm -hmm. you're a blue undertone okay. so you definitely want to opt for more of a blue blue red which kind of looks like this you can see it has some blues and purples in yep. it and if you have a little bit of green in your veins which I see a little bit of okay that means that you have a little bit more yellow in your undertone yes. so opt for something more warm like an orange red okay okay all right now if you can't tell it might be because you're a lucky girl and you're neutral you can try all of the colors yeah <laughs> and um, if you're deeper tone and you can't see your veins think about jewelry what color do you gravitate towards mm. if you gravitate towards silver again try a cool tone red if you okay. gravitate towards gold try something a little bit more warmer oh really interesting yeah, yeah it takes a long time to get that and as makeup artists you look at someone you just know sometimes and sometimes right? we have to layer but okay. these brands Pat McGrath and Charlotte Tilsbury are iconic artists they have a beautiful range of reds yes. so just start there don't try to go to 10 different brands. Start right. with one brand, try the shades, and find out what looks good on you. Okay, let's talk a little bit about texture yeah, now. Yeah, absolutely. So, mattes have come a long way from being super drying. Yes. They're very comfy now, and it's a great place to start for a red because it's more subtle. Yeah. So, Rimmel has a beautiful red. They have this one red shade that's kind of universal, mm -hmm. and it's super moist. And it stays on long. I love matte. It comes on and it stays on, but it's 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 moist. It's moist. Right? You don't feel like super dry or yeah. super chapped. Notes also has a beautiful matte moist lipstick line. Again, yes. you don't even think you're wearing a like a like a long lasting lip Color. stain or liquid because yeah. it feels so good. But if your lips are really dry or if they're chapped or as you mature, if they get more feathery, yeah. you definitely want to opt for something that's more satin based, that has okay. a little bit more oil in it. This is by Bare Minerals. Yes. It has like lots of minerals and omegas and it hydrates your lips. Okay, and we're it smooths out your out. lips. Okay, so great really for good mature to know. women. We're going to bring our uh, model in Fong yes. Come on in here and have a seat in our chair because we tried a couple of different Good stuff. A couple of different reds on you. And I'm going to show you a shot of Fong and the first red we tried on her, which is a so-so red. It Put is. it on. There's nothing wrong with it. No, nothing wrong with it. So she's more of a warmer tone. So this is more of a cool red. Okay. Um, and you'll see in the next picture, nice. this is like a ba -ba -boom, boom It's like a little pick-me-up, but yeah. you can see even on her face right now how much it brightens her face right. and really complements her entire look. So. The blue tone was nice, yes. but this looks stunning. She walks into her room, people are going to yeah. notice her. Oh, you got good lips, girl. <laughs> she Very has nice. Lips. Really good lips. Okay, let's go over now to Idri, our next model. Yes. So let's take a look at the first uh, red that uh, you put on Idri. Yes. And it almost play, It almost looks a bit like tangerine. There's exactly. almost a bit of orange there. It really makes a statement, so if that's your thing, that's fine. Look but she the actually, answer. there you go. So much better, I think. It's so I much better. That. She wears silver, so cool tone reds. Okay. Yeah. And I just lined her entire lip with a lip liner. Yeah. And this is what really is going to hold your lip in place. Line your yeah. entire lip so you don't get that awkward like liner ring. Right. And then actually start applying the red right from the center outwards so you don't have product oh. buildup around the edges and that's what causes, causes the bleeding okay. as you move on um, throughout the day. Yes. And don't forget to blot with yeah. a Kleenex to remove any excess product as well. You will always get that red on your teeth, right? <laughs>